everyone welcome back to my channel um for this week's friday video i am going to a pole clinic tonight with sonic so we are on operation get ready for camp because camp is in march so we have about two months to basically just make sure he's fit enough get him out and about um get him jumping again because he probably jumped twice over the whole of winter so just kind of getting back into the swing of things trying to do something like twice a month whether that's just a clinic or whatever we fancy doing actually to be fair this week he's having a pretty full-on week um he's been ridden twice already then he's got today then we're going to gallops on gallops <laughs> we're going to the gallops on sunday um so yeah really exciting i've just hitched up the box is there but i'm actually i have so much time and i am so excited um because what is the time it's half two and i don't have to leave till five like that is stunning but i've got quite a bit to do before then i want to muck out poo pick basically do all my jobs so that when i come back i can just chuck him in and go home um but i need to i want to get him in i want to clip him and i want to give his tail a bit of a pamper i just want to give him a pamper basically um because he's kind of just been feral for the last you know three winter and stuff they never looked that great so i've got a couple of hours to get everything i want to do done pamper him um and i'm already hitched up so i'm feeling very organized i need to load the car up as well so i don't know um how much i'm gonna vlog because my camera is actually on one bar so i'm gonna leave it in the tack room to charge um but yeah i'll get back to you i bought a new brow band today as well right this is not gonna be everyone's cup of tea and i myself is i'm not 100 percent sure on it um i needed a bigger one because i found that when i was taking his brow his bride loft sorry i saw that it was just too small on him so i got him this i think it's not too bad it is quite blingy isn't it it's quite blingy but i didn't think it was too blingy there was one with like full diamantes and i thought that one just a little bit i thought that was okay i mean not many people are gonna like it but it was nice and it's actually really good quality as well so i'm gonna try this on him tonight see how he looks and see if it fits um yeah so I'm gonna go and muck out and do all my boring stuff. Oh my God, look at my hair. Crazy. Um, I haven't caught up with you for a little while. It's been like two hours. Um, I have poo picked, I've mucked out, I've done the hay nets, I have cleaned my tack and loaded up the car. I've clipped Sonic, like I've been productive. Here is the little man right now. So his hair, his hair, his mane's looking a bit crazy because I have just sorted it out and plaited it down. Um, so we are going for the crazy main look tonight but i have clipped him only to hear <laughs> um and i did his ears as well i haven't done his legs just because the mud they just don't need doing right now he's had a brushed tail and he's just gonna travel in his little um stable rug he looks absolutely thrilled don't you maybe we should go from here because you don't this isn't your best angle really is it strike a pose oh god your forelock looks awful <laughs> God. right we're leaving in about 10 minutes um georgie and katie are meeting me there so they can do my vlog for me which is amazing so i didn't think i was gonna have anyone with me um but yes preparation for the fred's gala camp kind of starts now um i'll probably see you when we get there because i need to load up um go get fuel blah 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 right let's go Come on. good boy all the way good boy right we're in do this make sure you're all tied up good boy you got hay litter can't really reach that can you got a treat because you were such a good boy lots of treats on the trailer always like to make it a positive um experience for them I'm gonna pull it out a bit just so he gets it because it's a bit far away for you isn't it you have to do a bit of a bit of stretching right he's gonna get fuel and then head to the venue I love him my grooms have arrived for me, <laughs> look, at me. look at them wrapped ready to stand in the cold horse. weather so there's a host of horses in white air horses yeah yeah, no, I've never seen Georgie in white oh, hose before, actually. Ah, <laughs> so clever. Way too short. Recording. Hey, everyone, I'm just vlogging. You can flip it so you can see yourself. Oh. <laughs> Do you no, want to hold it? No, flip the screen so you can see yourself like that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Okay. So, 
Oh yeah, it says record it. Yeah, at the bottom it should say like. Why is it zooming in on my face? <laughs> She always is. She's supposed to be countering. <laughs> Yes! 
Did you have fun? Yeah, it was really good. It nearly got me off twice, but only a little bit. As if I've just made a car tripod out of my phone holder. That's amazing. Right, hang on. It is now the next day. I am just about to drive to the yard. But I thought whilst I am driving to the yard, uh, you are going to have to excuse the noise of the car. Um, I would kind of just explain yesterday as obviously I didn't film you know going home and stuff because it was pitch black and the venue that we went to yesterday midway manor um was they ha don't have any lights because i think it's a fairly new venue um so there's no lights in the car park so i was like no let's just get him home put him to bed and then we'll debrief in the morning so here we are um so we had a really good pole work clinic yesterday um and it kind of made me realize quite a lot that he needs to mess up uh, he needs to mess up, he needs to fall over, he needs to have these kind of situations because he, obviously being in the riding school, is completely brain dead. Because he has spent most of his life in a riding school, I'm basically trying to re we rewire his brain to actually be thinking and using himself and being more supple, more straight. So he doesn't look pretty. Um, he's not in an outline, his kind of legs are going everywhere he bless him he's been wired to just go forwards but not in a nice forward that you would think but just literally physically just step forwards um and then pull to stop and that is kind of all he knows um so getting him to think about where his feet have to go and you know when i say go forwards and listen to my leg enhancing that aid and making sure it's really sharp um so he's not gonna look pretty you know as we're doing the flat work because that is his weakest point um and to be honest in the last nearly year that i've had him i haven't done much with him purely because i didn't want him to go back in the arena for quite a bit of time because he was sour in the arena you know he would go in there and his ears would be back and he would buck and he would just switch off you know you put your leg on and he's not even there like he's just completely just out of it so i thought let's just have a year of hacking fun cross country like everything that would make him be like oh my god this is actually so fun um and now that he's kind of had that we can go back into the arena and still make it fun not just going around and around in circles you know having the poles having raised poles you know even if it means you know adding a cross pole into the flat work session just so he is like oh i'm in here to have fun even if it is just a pop over a single fence um, and then going back straight to the flat work so it's a long journey with him and obviously he's an older horse he's 18 19 this year so you know it's like teaching a dog an old dog new trick so it's going to be hard but i just want him to feel like he doesn't have to switch off and that he can have fun with it and use himself etc etc but yeah i feel like i am waffling but i just wanted to kind of explain what we were doing and what the exercise is all about um a lot of it was straightness and picking up the right lead um and just you know it's so good for him because there was something to think about like every you know every part of the arena there was like the poles in the middle then you had to pick up canter then you had to come back to trot for the poles and then you know go back through the poles like it was a lot for his brain to think about which is exactly what he needs um so it is friday today and then sunday we are off to the gallops um to give him a good whiz um, and he also just needs a lot more fitness work so that hence that i'm going to try and do the gallops every other week um just to give him a good leg stretch and yeah so i just thought i'd come on while i'm just driving to the yard and just kind of give you guys that little chat of where we are how it is you know rewiring a riding school pony and to show that it's hard because that obviously you know for what 10 years of his life he's just been taught to go round and round and round um so you can't really blame him for you know being like that and you know, just being ignorant to all of my age because that's the way he's been schooled so just trying to rewire his brain and let him have fun um and then hopefully in a couple of months working on the flat work he'll be a lot more forwards um as well which is amazing so yeah i'm about to go and do i'm just about to go to sonic now and then go to my client's yard do them but yeah i will see you guys monday's video uh monday's video is going to be the gallops so stick around till monday if you want to and we can go to gallops together it's gonna be fun we're going with georgie i think katie's coming as well um and yeah have a lovely weekend um comment down below what you're doing this weekend what am i doing this weekend 
Um, tomorrow I am going out with my mum and all the girls. Um, we're going for like some drinks and then we'll get the train home and then Sunday we're going to Gallup. So quite a nice weekend actually. Um, I do have quite a few horsey things I need to do in terms of clients. So I've got a yard that I'm doing for the next two weeks. Um, so yeah, a bit of a horsey weekend, but also a bit more of a socializing weekend, which is nice. Anyways, I will see you guys on Monday. I also just wanted to say, at the end of this video thank you so much to everyone who's been watching all of my videos and subscribing and liking them and everything like that it really does mean a lot because i didn't really think people would watch my youtube to be honest um i know my tiktoks you know we have got a good little community over there but it's actually worked out quite well so thank you so much um and if you're enjoying them please let me know and if there's anything you want to see um yeah because i am new to this whole youtube malarkey but hopefully posting twice a week um yeah, cool. Right, I'll see you later.